After creating your movie within Cyberlink PowerDirector 7, add the finishing touches with opening and closing credits. You can add opening credits over your existing video, or use a color board if you want to use a solid background color. In this example, we are going to create commonly seen opening credits, which fade in and out on a black background. Within the title room, add a title template to the title track in the timeline, and then click Modify to open the title designer. First, enter in the text you want to use to start your credits with. Next, adjust your text's font color. font type, text size, and position if required. In the next step, we will set the text effects within the Objects tab. First make sure the text object is selected, and then click on the Begin Effect button. Select Fade from the list of effects. Next, set the amount of time it takes for the text to fade in by dragging the keyframe to the desired position. In this example, we will select a 1 second fade in. For the end effect, repeat the same steps, but instead select the end effect button. This time, set the text to start fading out 1 second from the end. Use the playback controls to preview the text. Click OK to close the title designer. If you need to add more opening credits, drag the original color board to fit the required duration. Then repeat the previous steps for each set of credits. Or, Copy and paste the first set of credits to use it as a template for the remaining credits. This will save you time and ensure all your credits are the same. Now let's make the closing credits. For the closing credits, we added a color board and title template as before. Extend the length of the color board to match the estimated length of your credits. In this example, we set it to 20 seconds. Extend the title template to the same length. And then enter the title designer. An easy way to make your closing credits is to type and format them ahead of time within a text editor. Then simply copy this text and press Ctrl V on your keyboard to paste it into the title designer. To format the text in the title designer, press Ctrl A on the keyboard to select all of the text and then make the required formatting changes. Press Ctrl A again to set the text alignment to center. Next, enable the TV safe zone to help you align the text correctly. Now let's set the text effects within the Objects tab. Again, make sure the text object is selected and then click on the Begin Effect button. This time select Scroll Up from the list of effects. It's done. Now preview the ending credits. If you want to change the speed of the scrolling credits, just adjust the length of the title template on the timeline accordingly.